Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a pretty rad unlimited loop effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So achieving this awesome effect is fairly easy. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a tripod. I would recommend a tripod and having a place where everything is controlled. So you don't want too much things moving in the background. For this scene, I used a tripod and I used my newly wrapped vehicle. I pulled up and I applied hand sanitizer to my hands, wiped it on good, grabbed my bag again, and moved out the frame. And this is all you're gonna need. So you can do anything that you want. Just make sure that your subjects aren't moving in the background, there's not too many shadows, and you are good to go. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to duplicate the scene. So I'm gonna highlight the scene, I'm gonna hold Option and move up, or you could do Command C. Next, we're gonna find a point where we wanna start and we can go up top to this top scene and we can drop the opacity down so we can see exactly what's going on. You wanna find a point where you know you wanna cut in. So for this instance, I'm grabbing my bag and the opacity on the top scene that we dragged on top is still, is still low so we can see our shadow and start masking. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the draw mask tool and we're gonna apply that to the top clip. Essentially, we're gonna be moving right to left you might be on the opposite side, left to right. It depends on how you did this setup. Or what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to get your points and you're gonna create a box, a rectangle. All right, you're gonna wanna connect it and you wanna be pretty even, okay? So now that we have that, we're gonna start here. And with this draw mask, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add keyframes so we can move it, because it's a mask. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna hit on transform, we're gonna right click, hit add, and then under control points over here, we're gonna right click and hit add. Now, since we are moving right to left, we're gonna to go to the arrow key on your keyboard and key in the frames. And now you can see my shadow is appearing. We're gonna hold this line right here, hold down the mouse, and we are gonna drag as we keep hitting the right arrow key, like so. So as I'm moving out, I'm also moving in. Now, a rule of thumb, you definitely want to make sure you're out of the frame, make sure all shadows aren't, no overlapping, things of that nature to achieve this effect. We're good to go. And that's what it's gonna look like. And once we have that, we can go come back up here to opacity and we can make it 100% again. But this is what it's gonna look like so far. And that looks awesome. Now we're gonna wanna loop this, okay? So we're gonna wanna find a point where we're gonna stop and continue this loop. Now I kinda made that point already and it's right when I'm grabbing, it's right when I'm grabbing this handle. You wanna make it easy, so right before I'm grabbing the handle, that's why I do it, like right there, okay? So, we're gonna look here as I apply the hand sandy, and we're gonna look for that same, that touch. It's about here. Hit B, the blade tool, chop that thing down, delete the excess. Now what you're gonna also wanna do is you know this is the piece where I'm grabbing the handle, and that's where it's gonna stop. So to achieve this effect in the best way possible, I'm gonna delete the excess in front of that. So the loop is actually gonna look like this. I apply it and then I'm grabbing back right here. And that's what we wanna do, we want that constant loop. Okay, so this one, the duration of this one's like 14 seconds, yours might be five seconds, it might be eight. Whatever you're trying to achieve, and once you have your point of cue where you want to start the loop, that's what you're gonna look for. After I have this, I'ma select all, and I'ma make a compound clip. Once I have my compound clip, I would simply hit Command C, come to the end of this bad boy, 
command V it up and loop it up. And you know, it's gonna be a constant non-stop video. I could add this on social, I can make a post about it on Facebook. You know, you can have some real fun with this and it will be a non-stop loop. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial. If you did, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this in the future, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks, please hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.